Hello everybody, and Eric and I are back for another exciting game of Arkham Horror the Card Game. Our first one went alright, we got out of it okay, and now we're here at The House Always Wins. Um, the Clover Club. You have entered the Clover Club Casino in search of Dr. Morgan. The club is bustling at this late hour, filled with patrons looking to relax and drink or make it big. You don't appear to be in much danger. Each criminal enemy gains aloof, which means they do not engage us if they're in the same location. However, if an investigator deals any damage to a criminal enemy, we immediately advance the agenda. Dang. Uh, beginner's luck. You need to find Dr. Morgan. The club is packed. Perhaps somebody knew where he is. When you reveal a chaos token as a reaction, you may treat that token as if it was any token in the chaos bag. But if you do, remember that you have cheated. A group limit once per round. Objective. When the investigators have collected their requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them in advance. Okay. This is fun. Yeah. This is flavorful. All right. La Bella Luna. La Bella Luna was a multi-purpose establishment. Uh, two shroud, two clues, resign, this was a bust. The music is cliche and they only serve spaghetti, but as far as covers for underground speakeasies go, it's not particularly creative. I'm gonna resolve my turn, but you can start taking your first turn. Oh, and this guy. So this guy's prey is highest book, which actually were tied. Nice. Uh, his highest hunter. And forced, after an investigator, Clover Club Pit Boss's location gains any number of clues. Clover Club Pit Boss readies, engages that investigator, and makes an immediate attack. So don't grab clues where this guy is. Fair. That's what we're learning. All right, Eric, go for it. What, what do you got? Well, I think... Oh, yeah, Eric. So Eric bought a quick learner for mm -hmm. upgrades. Uh, just one of them. You can just see it right over here. And then... Um, here, if it is easier, you could probably put your deck over here just off camera. Sounds good to me. Uh, and then I just upgraded two experience into my custom modifications. I have an extended stock. So I think the first thing I'll do, I will buy an old key ring. Seems great. And that'll be my first action for the round. And yeah. then I'm going to move into the Clover Club Lounge. You don't want to get these clues? Oh, there's clues here. Yeah, there's two of them. My apologies. Um, what's the shroud value here? Two. Two to my two. Keep this, keep this, keep this, burn those. I think I will uh, just go flat. Two to two? Two to two. Oh, I need to put some assets on there. Two to two. Mm -hmm. So that's minus two. You may spend two resources to treat this as a zero instead. Happily. So oh. You also, could you also could fail. I could also fail. You could. I think I will fail. Nice. To play Grit Your Teeth. Grit Your Teeth, nice. So you get plus one to each of your stats. Mm-hmm. That'll cost you one still, so it'll go to three. Yeah. So now you have two actions remaining, and these are both minus one, so you're actually now at three to one. Yeah. the Grit Your Teeth and the Quick Learner. Yeah. That's a clue for you. And then I will try again. Hell yeah. Three to one. And is it, does it happen for every... It's until the end of the turn. Yeah, there we oh. go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, two clues. All right, very nice. Just me outside here, like, putting on a key ring. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to gain a resource. Nice. I'm going to play a 45 Thompson. Nice. We call that the Mark Harrigan special. <laughs> I'm going to gain a resource for my last action. This guy's going to move in here with us, but he's aloof. He's just hanging out. He's just is like, what are you guys doing out here? Are you getting clues? And we're like, no, <laughs> no sir. No, sir. Here, I'll put your old key around camera. All right, even though it is glared to shit. All right, then we get to go upkeep cards and resources. All right. This was a decent opening hand for me. Better than I... That's my deck. What am I getting? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Uh, one of four evil card whenever you're ready, Eric. Evil card, cursed luck. Uh, per, per, put, <laughs> put cursed luck into play in your threat area. You get minus one skill value during skill tests. After you succeed at a skill test by one or more, discard cursed luck. I'll take that. I got one too. Oh, nice. Uh, do you mind if I go first? No, please. Uh, we're going to move in here. <laughs> Just club, immediately club shoots the pit boss, <laughs> knowing things I don't know. Uh, comfortable leather couches, mahogany furniture, and an array of beautiful art greets gamblers, tempting them into the life of the would-be affluent. Two Shroud. While it is Act 1, Clover Club Lounge gains action. Discard an ally asset from your hand. Gain two clues from the token pool. Um, 
Limit once group uh, limit once per game, so we can each do this once. We can discard an ally. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this medical student into the mob for information. That medical student does not have a good day with you. No, absolutely not. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna move into the Clover Club card room. Mm -hmm. So as you approach the card room, the clinking of poker chips and the shuffling of cards is punctuated by shouts of revelry and frustration. Your thoughts are nearly drowned out by the racket. While it is Act 1, Clover Club a card room gains action. Spend two resources. Reveal a random chaos token from the bag. If it's an Elder Sign, gain two clues and two resources from the token pool. If it's an even number, gain two resources from the token pool. If it's an odd number or a symbol, nothing happens. And that'll be me. Well, I'm going to go gamble. Hell yeah. Do you have a person you can sell or no? No. Yeah, that's fair. Gonna spend two resources to gamble? I will. Nice. Give us the money, Eric. Give us something good. That's even. Yep. So you get two clues. Wow, we only need to do that one more time. Nailing it. Nailing it. All right, this guy moves here. But they are keeping us low on cash. They are. Let me go upkeep. Right. That'll be good in the future. All right, two of four, Eric. What do you got? Oh, from here. Right. Ooh, swarm of rats. Ooh, something for me to do. Yeah. Uh, they're engaged with you. Right. Goodbye. Uh, Surge, each player who has had a drink loses an action. I haven't. No, me neither. I don't drink. Uh, something in the drinks. Each player who had a drink loses an action. Surges into... While he's engaged with you, you cannot gain resources. So he's just hanging out here. Nice, nice. How confident do you feel in your ability to gamble? Pretty confident. All right, I'm going to grab these rats. I'm going to punch them at four to one. Minus two. So that brings me to two to one. Mm -hmm. I succeed by one or more. I get rid of this. The rats are dead. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go run interference. Nice. So then he won't move. I'll just be like, I'm in the club. In the Clover club. club. Okay, I'm going to spend two. Good luck. Thank you. If you succeed on this, it would be very good. So my advice is do it. I love your advice. Oh, he f That's right. They fucking did it. They fucking did it. All right, we'll advance. That's incredible. That's actually like the best luck I've ever had in this scenario. <laughs> You've cursed us now. After speaking to a number of gamblers and servers, it seems as though Dr. Morgan has his quite uh, the run lately. Instead of cashing out his winnings, he was convinced to double down. He was last seen entering the guarded hall near the back of the card room. So we put the darkened hall location into play. Whoa. If it is agenda one, discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until a criminal enemy is discarded and spawn that guy there. All right. Skin game. Dr. Morgan is somewhere in the private section of the club where only his VIPs and the club managers are allowed. Um, if you are able to find him, you're going to have to sneak or even fight your way in. Only investigators in the VIP area may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance, which is two per, so four. Notably, we can no longer gamble. Oh, okay. Because it's no longer Act 1, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I believe you have an uh, you have an action left, right? I believe I do. Did you gain a resource at the start, or did you just gamble? No, I did gain a resource at the start. Okay, so then you have one action left. Um... And I can't go into the darkened hall. You can. There's just a guy there, but he's aloof still. He's still aloof right now, but he might not be aloof forever. Yeah. But you also have four foot, so this guy only has two. Yeah, I'm going to go into the darkened room. All right. Because there's no clues anywhere else right now. No. A heavy oak door stands in a secluded corner of the club. As you approach it, the air grows heavy and the clamor of the card room fades behind you. When you enter this location, we're going to put the three back hall doorways into play. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, upkeep. Almost went for your card again. You're, you're more than welcome to. Got 
got my work cut out for me here. Mm -hmm. All right, three of four. Eric, your evil card whenever you are ready. How many cards do I have in hand? You can have eight. Okay, we're, we're still chugging away. Arousing suspicions, place one doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no doom was placed by this effect, lose two resources. That's fine, we were about to advance next turn anyway, so we actually don't lose a turn there. That's really nice. Rats! Something for me to do? <laughs> I just love Mark Arrigan going in. Not Gamlin's just like, you got a rat problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a health inspector. <laughs> the club boss is like, um, sir, please continue. Yeah, yeah. All right, Eric, you gonna go explore? You're a little bit scared I all back there scared. by yourself? No, I'm gonna go explore, but I'm a furred. I'm a furred. I mean, let's go for the odd one out. Sure. James has always been on left, that's on my left. This is the back alley. Oh no, I don't want that. Uh, one shroud, two clues though. Okay. So we want those clues and it does have victory. Okay. Well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go for it. Hell yeah. Because this means if you have those two clues and you go into the the VIP area, you have what you need. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at minus. Yeah, so you're right now you're one to one. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean you pat, you fail, you get more juice. Yeah, exactly. And you're also actually naturally with your. You do fail. Oh baby. Nice. Can I give a suggestion? Yeah. You should save that for the future. Okay. Because your next, you can actually just take two tests to just grab those clues, testing one to two to zero. Oh, one right, to zero yeah. because of the thing. Just a suggestion, because then you can save it for higher shroud locations. Oh, yeah. Which are harder for you to get through. And then, yeah, because my next action is now going to be neutral. Yeah, no, your next action is now positive. So now it's one. Why is it positive? So because you know, this is your third action, because you moved in, you investigated. So now you're right. going at one to zero. Right. And that's a... Minus two if you fail, discard three. Oh, no, 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 that's a... Sorry, that's this one. Plus one. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Nice. So then that also gets rid of your curse luck and gives you a clue, which is really nice. And then now you go again because you got your bonus action from failing, which is now two to zero. You're good. Yeah, that's great. Oh, you don't have to take it immediately after. Yeah, you may take no, an additional action. No, so how it works is you may take an additional action, but how it goes is that, like, your additional actions are, like, bonus actions get spent first. So if you lose them, you still have your regular amount of actions. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Right, I'm going to punch this rat. Thank you. So I might I've... still need that explained again, but I think I yes, got it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. No, no, no. The quick learner is a bit of, a bit of the juicy part. Get fucked, you dumb rat. Whoa. Okay, I want to stay here for reasons. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a True Grit, which soaks for me, and then I think I'm going to gain a resource for my last action. And then we'll go upkeep. Okay. I'm feeling very poor this game. I mean, you did spend four to gamble. Yeah, that's true. All right, this advances. Your question has drawn the attention of several men, hired thugs by the look of them. Francis doesn't want to be bothered, one of them says. We suggest you leave the premises before we force you to leave. Shuffle this into that. If the player has completed extra curricular activity two, we automatically advance to the back of this one. Uh, notably, these guys are no longer aloof, so this guy will engage you. Okay. You hear a crash from somewhere outside and screams of pain in the lounge. A terrible monstrosity smashes through the entrance of the club, crashing the stairwell and knocking over gangsters and patrons alike. Spawn a random enemy from the set aside uh, hideous abomination set at the Clover Club Lounge. Oh, where I am? Did I underestimate my situation? Let's find out. I might have underestimated my situation. Let's just take a few seconds to just not panic. All right. <laughs> Wait, the pit boss isn't helping you fight the monster? No, 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 no. Pit boss, you got a club to oh, run. All right, that's it's not it's not it's I'm gonna have to work a little bit. All right, shuffle the rest of the, that encounter set along with the strike and fear into the in the discard pile. Move all investigators from La Bella Luna to the Clover Club and remove this from the game. Oh, so we, we don't have another a, exit. Yeah, luckily we have another exit now. All right. Uh, amidst the chaos and confusion, the strange abominations attack everyone in the club. Screams echo through the halls as the blood begins to spray. Forced, at the start of the enemy phase, discard each criminal enemy at the same location as an abomination. 
So notably, we won't get the victory from this, so I am going to probably just try to kill both of these guys. Yeah. So hopefully I don't draw another scary enemy. Yeah. That's the hope here. Oh, we're not getting any victory from it? If he gets discarded by this, no. No, that's fair. I have to kill him myself, and I'm going to try. I love it. Because I'm super sexy Mark Harrigan. I've heard that about you. Okay. Um, Eric, your evil card. Right. Oh no. Rotting Remains. Revelation. Test three. For each point you fail, take one horror. So it's a brain three, so you're testing three all. Do I want to do anything about that? Three all? Yeah. And it's for each point you fail by, you take a horror. Yeah, I'll just take it. Yeah, and if you fail, you get an action. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you fell by three, so take three horror. Ooh. But you do get an action. I do. Um, All right, so notably this guy is in the way. Yeah, so I'm going to have to sneak past him. Yeah, you're going to have to move, evade him. Which is unfortunate for this. But no, that's okay, because you, uh, you've already done your first action. Oh, so now right. you're in neutral territory, so now it's four to two. But does that mean I actually take one more? Nah, because... So this is... I'm um, pretty sure... During your, before your first action on each of your turns, the Mythos phase is not during your turn. Okay, so I still take the minus one. Oh no, this is my first move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then now this guy's engaged with you, so you can try to evade him, doing foot to his, um, foot to his evade, so he has an evade value of two, so you would test four to two. That seems pretty good. But we haven't really taken much damage yet. Oh, but you're going to take a lot of damage, so I should probably hold on to this card. I'm fine right now. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, if... Just, I would do four to two. Okay. I think four to two is pretty... Oh, by the way, I drew a, um, a, an arousing suspicion, so I placed a doom on this guy. Fair. Nice. He's evaded. Oh. Uh, now you have two actions left. I'm going to go into the next room. It's the VIP area. So, uh, while you're in the VIP area, you do not draw cards or gain resources in the upkeep phase. But notably, this is where you need to be to spend the last of your clues. Okay. But I need to pass these clues. Yes, yeah, so if you did it, you have one action left. If you investigated, it would be two to two. Which means that this is actually a really good spot for your look what I found. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't have any way to bring down my skill, so I'm just going to try it. Yeah, two to two, because you have your quick learner bringing you down. Yeah. Yeah, put that in two. Why not, right? A take hurt. Oh, yeah, because there's no sorcery here milling you if you yeah. get to... You passed. Good I job. passed. Not what I wanted, but... Oh, but he was going to complain about passing a test. <laughs> Me. All right, um, we're going to shoot this guy. Oh, our Kerrigan bless. All right, so we're going to go seven to four. It's not perfect, but we'll try our darndest. Hmm. Mm. He doesn't retaliate. All right, we're going to fire again. Seven to four. I'm going to commit this uh, vicious blow to go eight to four. Okay. Nice. So he's going to take three damage. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to fire again, and I'm going to commit a fist icon to go eight to four. Because then we just lose to the auto fail, mm -hmm. which hopefully I don't draw twice in a turn. I would. We're good. He is defeated, which is good. He was the scary one. Yeah. And he's victory. Nice. Yeah, so he's in the victory display for us. Nice, nice. That's one point towards the... All right, and neither of these guys have Hunter, so that's awesome. Um, this guy's going to attack me in the enemy phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put one of it on True Grit, mm -hmm. one of it on me, which mm -hmm. is going to allow me to draw a card with my ability. Mm -hmm. Not what I need. Okay, um, this goes here. Oh, you get your upkeep as well. Yeah. Oh, and I guess I also get mine. Because that was during the enemy phase. I got <laughs> oh, no, sorry. You don't get anything because right. of this. I always forget about that. That's fine. I'm doing real well. Okay. All right. We now go to two of seven, one on the agenda, one on the Clover Club Pit Boss. Your evil card whenever you're ready. Hunted down. If there are no unengaged criminals in play, hunted down gains surge. If there are one or more engaged unengaged criminals in play, and each of them moves one location towards you. Each criminal enemy may... That engages you as a result of this attack makes an immediate attack. It's like I hits you for one. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Conglomeration of spirits. I have to perform an attack against this guy using melee card, discard that card. Oh, and then I lose one resource. 
Yes, he'll steal from you. Ooh. Oh, sorry, this guy did not move. This guy's here. Okay. Well. Do you mind if I shoot? No, please do. All right, we're going to shoot this Clover Club pit boss. You don't want to fight the conglomeration of spheres? Well, we'll do it the long way. We're going to go seven to three. Nice, he takes two damage. Well done. Okay, so what I think we do... I think we just punch this guy. Nice. And I go seven to three. Oh no, this guy has, no, this guy, sorry, this guy actually has um, juice in him. He has four, so we actually are going to fire. Nice. And then we're going to go seven to three with yeah. the 45 Thompson. Nice, he is dead. Nice, another point of victory. Yep. And then I'm going to play a card from my hand. Mm -hmm. And that card is called One in the Chamber. Oh. So play after the end of attack or, uh, or effect that spends the last ammo from a firearm asset. Add one ammo to that asset, and I get plus three skill value for my next attack with it. So we're going to shoot this guy. Whoa. I have like a million to one, so I'm only going to do my math if I draw the autofail token, because that's the only one that matters. Nice. He's going to take two damage. That's me. We're doing it the long way. That's all. Yep. Yeah. All right, Eric. Go for it. Now the only problem is this guy's also here. Yeah, as is this guy. So I need to evade this guy. Yeah, luckily they each have two, which is nice. But notably, your first evade will be higher difficulty. But that's not really a problem because you like, you get the free Stella action. Yeah. Just the low, low cost of failing a test. Okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm taking the two, one to two. Uh, sorry, three. Uh, it'll be four to three. Four to three. Because he gets plus one. Yeah. So you have four versus his two plus one, so three. Yeah. Oh, so... Yeah. 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 Minus three. If you succeed, gain three resources. Well, you fail. Which is good, because I wanted to spend live and learn. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, but he's going to burn a resource. No, but he's not attacking you. Oh, right. No. Yeah. Uh, so a few things happen here. Mm -hmm. um, you still get your action because you've technically failed a test. Mm -hmm. um, and now... I you... also attempt that a test again, and I get plus two to that. Yeah, but I'm just trying to think if that also still... If this is part of your first action. I don't think it is. I could be wrong. This could be one of those weird rules, but I'm pretty sure now you're at two. So you're now at six to two. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Just don't draw a minus four because then it doesn't matter. That also doesn't matter, so you just auto-fail. On the plus side, though, he doesn't retaliate. He doesn't attack you or anything. Mm -hmm. So now you still have three actions in which you can evade him. Yeah, and I'm going four to two. Yeah. And how much did I fail by on that last one? You failed by two on the last one. Oh no, no, sorry. This is only after you well, during investigating. while investigating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will try to evade him again. Fortitude? Fortitude's pretty good. Yeah. If you're also feeling spicy, you could also just try to kill him. Attacking him at 3 to 2, and then 3 to 1. 3 to 2? You also yeah. could just try to kill the fucker. I could. That's the power of Stella. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, 3 to 2? 3 to 2. And then you go 3 to 1, 3 to 1? Yeah. Or 3 to 1, hopefully only once. I believe. I think it's honestly because it solves a problem for you. Hey, he takes one damage, then you can punch him again at three to one. That seems kind of sick. Mm-hmm. I'm just seeing. do I want to do anything about that? I don't want to burn Resourceful. Oh, yeah, was there anything you'd want with Resourceful? Not yet. That's fair. Yeah, three to one. Nice. Hell yeah! You killed him, Stella! Very wow. nice! And then you still have one action left. Yeah, right. Yeah, you gotta, because you're, you've actually taken five actions this turn. Oh my god. So you can try to, yeah, you could try to investigate at... with the old key ring? Um... So if you use the old key ring, it actually will go down to zero. Yeah. Because you have minus two from this and minus one from the quick learner. But quick learner is on... Oh, during or after your third? Holy yeah. cow! <laughs> yeah, I'll use the quick. I'll use the key ring. Yeah, so then you're uh, you're at two to zero. 
The slow unravel, like the slow <laughs> unraveling realization of the power of um, Stella. Yeah. So you could spend it now, or you could wait until next turn to advance. You would like me to wait so that you can kill more people, right? I, I, I'm not going to influence it because sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't on a May, but a May generally implies that there's a reason why you might or might want to or may not want to. I will choose not to advance it yet. Sure. Um, this guy's going to attack me because yep. you've finally done your turn, right? Yes. Oh, and you, yeah, you already got that. Perfect. You broke one of your keys. All right, I'm going to draw a card because of the true grit. Oh, that's a nice draw. And then uh, we go to upkeep, but you don't get anything because you're still in the VIP room. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a great draw as well. Holy hell. Okay. Awesome. I'm feeling more confident. Two of seven. What's your evil card? Please don't give me another conglomeration of spheres. Cursed luck. Ah, it's back, baby. Cursed luck. Do you mind if I go first? Actually, Please. no, no. You can advance. So you can advance. Do I want to advance or yeah. do I want to go to the next room? Well, you can because you have to go through here first. You also can only advance in the VIP room. Let's advance. All right. So spend your clues, all four. Uh, the VIP rooms are filled with mangled and bloodied bodies of unfortunate patrons. You just noticed now, by the way. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be any trace of Dr. Morgan. You hear screaming and gunfire from the main area of the club. You actually have no idea what's going on. You've yeah. already gone back there. Put the set aside Peter, Peter Clover into the Clover Club bar. Search and counter deck or out of play for an abomination enemy and spawn it there. That sucks. He's going to die, isn't he? That's another one of these. I mean, it is nice if we can save him. We'll try. So then we advance to Act 3A, Fold. The club is not winning. No. The house is not always winning. <laughs> right now, winning. The, yeah, the house is definitely confidently losing. Free drinks for whoever gets me the hell out of here, a man exclaims from the bar. While Peter Clover is not controlled by a player, he gains Parlay, Test Brain 3. If you succeed... Um, if you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on him. If there are player clues on him, take control of him. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, we advance. So he is at the start of the enemy phase. If no investigator controls Peter Clover, deal one damage to him. Exhaust Peter Clover, automatically evade a criminal enemy at your location. We can only do that if we control him. Mm -hmm. So we have two turns to save him. Okay. There is a guy in your way, uh -huh. but he only has two foot. Yeah. Do you want to try to save him? I think I could. There's also this big guy in the way. He is more of a problem, but I think I have answers. Okay, let me go first, because I can maybe yeah. clear you a better path. I'm going to do an act of desperation. I'm going to throw my gun at this guy. <laughs> so, this is the cost to play. Discard a card that takes up a hand slot. I get plus X fist and deal plus one damage, where X is the asset. So, I go to 11, 10 to his one. Just throw a Tommy gun at him. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. <laughs> Nice, I succeed. If you succeed, I gain uh, I gain the cost of the asset and resources. Holy cow, you threw a Tommy gun at him, he just blew up into money. Yep. Okay, I can't get you a path this turn, but I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Draw a card. Um, and then, in that attack of opportunity, I'm playing this 32 Colt. Which has six bullets, but I don't get a boost. Oh. So we're gonna fire. So this is kind of like that thing we were doing, like with the knife. This one doesn't give you a boost, but it gives you consistent damage. But luckily, Mark Harrigan has five printed. Yeah. And I have a, a thing that gives me plus two if it's attached. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're gonna tag this guy five to one. Oh, this is gone. Yeah, he is dead. Well done. Okay, so I can't get there this turn, but next turn I can potentially clear a path for you to start trying to talk to him. Sweet. All right, Eric. Okay. Hello. One. He engages. Second action. I try to avoid. Four to two. Not bad. Four to two is pretty good. Right, well, five to two. Five to two is also really good. Five to two, four to two. That makes sense. Yeah, four to two. Minus four. Can't beat that. That's okay, though. Yep. But now you can evade him at four to, uh, sorry, three to one. Three to one. Yeah. Because of your quick learner. And you get the extra action because you failed. Good luck, Eric. Nice. He's evaded, and you also get rid of that. Which, thank goodness. And you have one action left. So you can move 
only up here. Only to there. But notably, the, you're connected to this, so we yeah. can move in there next turn. Okay. Perfect. This guy's going to attack. You actually get a upkeep phase. Oh, thank goodness. On the plus side, this is the last, like, big, scary enemy from the deck. Nice. All right, three of seven. Evil card whenever you're ready, Eric. Something in the drinks. No one drank. Uh, that's Surge, so you draw another card. Oh no, Swarm of Rats. Okay, you might need to get bit by them a few times. Ooh, reveal a random token from the cast bag. Ooh, this is a little bit scary. This could, like, potentially kill me. Not now, but in the future. Uh, I take one damage. That's okay. I get to draw a card. Okay. Um, I'm gonna clear you a path. Oh, you have some rats. Are you okay to just, like... I can deal with the rats. Yeah. We have to do a brain three twice. Are you gonna, like, fight the rats? Um, no, I'm gonna avoid them. You're gonna evade them? Yeah. Interesting. You also could try to punch them, because they only have one fist. Oh yeah, I could try and punch them. And notably, Parlay does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna spend two to play a medical student who's just gonna heal me for one and one. Uh, we're then gonna move in here. Mm -hmm. And um, should I try to parlay with him once? Make it a bit easier for you? Sure. Or do you wanna try and punch the thing? Uh, yeah, I'll shoot this guy. I can help you with a brain test at least. Yeah. All right, we're firing the cult. We have uh, five to one. Fatality. I'll go there. All right, uh, you're good to go. Oh, sorry, this is location. Uh, if it was act one, we could have had a drink. Nice. Okay, I am at three fists. Yeah, I'll go two to one. Uh, three to two? Three to two? Yeah, three to two. Yep, up one. Not terrible. Not terrible. Yeah. Well, now you can go three to one. Yeah. Unless you have, a, like, a trick up your sleeve. You never know what Stella's packing. It's true. No, nah, three to two. Three to one now, three to one. Oh, yeah, three to one. It's a minus three. So you do not succeed. I do not succeed. But now you're going to go with uh, three to zero. <laughs> yeah, we'll go three to zero. <laughs> Oh yeah. These rats are gonna fuck me up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then you wanna move in here? Yeah, I do have the one last action. Nice. And then next turn we'll try to save him. Yeah. This guy goes there, and then we go upkeep. Don't forget your upkeep, Eric. Thank you. I'm so busy panicking staring at my cards. <laughs> All right, we go four or seven, your evil card whenever you're ready. Those rats showed up at the worst time. Oh my god, yes. Arouse suspicions. Each criminal in my location, uh, if no doom was placed, gain two resources. Thank you. I'm frozen in fear. The first time I perform a fight, move, or evade action, it costs an additional action. Oof. At the end of my turn, test brain three. If I succeed, discard frozen in fear. Do you want to try to talk to this guy? I do. All right, so your first test is going to be a whiff, right? Because you're going, you're going three to four. Three to four? Yeah, because this guy's three... And then that'll make it four. Yeah. Unless you wanted to like just like play something with your first action. Um. And this is brain, right? This is a brain test, yeah. No, I'll whiff the first one. Cool. Because how many do we have to pass to get him to join us? Two. Okay. All right. So on my next one, which is now three to three. Yeah. I'm going to make it... I know what you told me, but I'm still going to do this. I think it's fair. No, I think it's fair here because we're... Yeah. You're looking pretty okay, yeah. to be honest, and... Six to three. Yep. Nice. Clue on him. You need to do it one more time. I can help with this one. Okay. Here's a bandolier. That's a fist. Sorry, here's a stand together. So now you are four to two. Five to two. That seems good. Beats the minus threes, and there's two of them in the bag, so... It's a minus four. It doesn't beat that. Mm. And you have... You have one action left? Yes. You whiffed one? I whiffed one. Passed one. Passed failed one. Failed one. I can help you with this. 
Okay. And I don't have another thing. So it's still just... It's going to be four to two. Yeah. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Right, you take control of them. Okay, so we've saved them. Now we just got to get out. That's yep. all we got to do. Okay, uh, we're going to fire on this guy. We have five to one. Pew, pew. We're going to go again. Five to one. And this will be my third action because my frozen and fear gives me additional. He is dead. Oh, well done. We're going to test this frozen and fear. Uh, we're going to take it to go five to three. Draw a card. And we're going to go six to three. I can't provide stuff to your... If you have a brain or a wild symbol, you can. You can commit one card to a test. I can't help. Six to three. We're good. I gained three resources. Nice. Not that I need them. But I'll take them. Okay. Upkeep. We just got to get out. I did come out of this place much richer. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You're not going to take a test that's that difficult? No. All right, we go five of seven, your evil card, whenever you're ready. Oh, no, O'Bannon's thug. Oh, we can exhaust him with uh, this guy. Yeah. And I have drawn another thug. He's about to get a bolt in the brain. <laughs> okay, so we just have to get, we just have to resign. Yeah. Uh, did you want to evade this guy with your uh, Peter Clover? Yeah, I do. Sure. So that's, that's just a free action. So if yep. he just goes... He just exhausted here. Yeah. So now you have three actions remaining. So I'm going to go... Um, one. Two. Now you're here. This guy's with you. Mm -hmm. So you could try to evade him. Yeah, four to two. Four to two is pretty good. Six to two. Six to two. Oh, you should actually keep that. Yeah? Because if you fail, you can put them on top of the oh, deck. Right, yeah. yeah. Four to two. Four to two, and let's fail. You do. Yeah, put them back on the deck. So you can play the dumb luck. First time I've like ever seen this go off in a while. So after you fail a skill test by two or less while attempting to evade an enemy, place that enemy on top of the deck, which means next turn you know you're drawing him and you can just evade him. Um, but because I failed to check. You get one reaction, so you can move there. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we'll shoot this guy. Love it. I'm going to commit this, these, to go... So what am I? I'm actually at seven. No, I'm at five to two. We'll go six to two. He's dead. Nice. And then we're going to go one, two. Because now, if I get a frozen in fear, I'll be able to resign. Yeah. All right. We go upkeep. Mm-hmm. Last turn. Uh, whatever could your evil card be, Eric? It is a man. I have rats. Okay. Uh, so do you want to just evade him and then resign? Just exhaust him and then yeah. resign. Uh, and then I'm going to just get bit by the rat and then also resign. That was okay. very nice. Holy cow. Uh, you make your way toward the rain slick streets of Arkham. If an investigator resign with Peter Clover under his control, his or her control, we advance to resolution three. Honestly, um, that is very tough to do rescuing peter clover i did stay back on purpose with that knowledge but uh we got a very good surge of luck at the beginning with how our gambling went which really put us like ahead you were able to get back there because as you see we still got very close to doing it yeah i'm surprised but that's actually that has huge long-term implications for the story of the remainder of the campaign so that's <laughs> great Although you're able, unable to find Dr. Morgan in the club, the man you rescued is grateful for your help. He introduces himself as Peter Clover, the owner of the establishment you just left. Despite the situation, he maintains an air of quiet professionalism. As you make your way toward the street, a well-polished Chrysler B70 rolls up to you. A gorgeous woman with long brown hair and narrow eyes exits. She is flanked by dangerous-looking men who slip their hands under their suit jackets when they see you. Peter, she says with a sigh of relief, good God, you're, good you're okay. I heard there was trouble. She turns and glares at you with deadly eyes. Who are they? Mr. Clover dusts off his vest, unworried. Naomi, my dear, these are friends of mine. They, he clears his throat. They escorted me off the premises, he explains after a short pause. They have earned our gratitude. The woman crosses her arm and takes a moment to size you up before giving you a smirk. Very well, then. 
I must thank you for taking care of Peter. Run along now, we'll handle things from here. She nods to the goons flanking her and they walk past you towards the club's rear entrance, pulling firearms out from underneath their coats. You're not sure what handling things means, but you're pretty sure you don't want to be here when the gunfire starts. You thank Naomi and Peter and head off. So in our campaign log, we record that Naomi has the investigators back, but Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped. <laughs> Did any player cheat? No. And we have a victory display of, I'm pretty sure, four. Two there, two here. So we go four. Armitage's fate. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home, in the south side you find him sitting at his desk, pale-faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved, probably because we found neither of them. We're <laughs> like, sorry, Doc! <laughs> <laughs> With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains, I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, record that the investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. And one of us may include him in our deck. We rescued him? Yes. If we got unconscious, he would have been kidnapped as well. Oh, okay. Uh, so one of us can take him. Ooh. I'm also down for him, but I have played him a bunch, and I have, like, long-term ally plans, and you seem to not have any ally plans. I have zero allies. So, yeah, take him. So you can put him on your red sleeves, and he's yours for the campaign. Sweet, and I can drop a different card? No, no, no. He is a story reward, so he does not count towards your deck size. Okay. All right, so Stella gets him. Continue. And, uh, yeah, we go into... The next uh, scenario, which is going to be the Miskatonic Museum, oh. which is a which is a great time. Uh, yeah, that went very well. Uh, I am quite impressed with how that went, to be honest. <laughs> Even just beyond like what you were doing, just I had killed a lot of enemies. You did. You murdered all. And I'm left with only like two and one damage on me, which is uh, pretty nice. I'm, I'm excited to see how this deck continues to upgrade. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one. We love you, and as always. A GG's.